The Pokedex is full of a lot of really cool information if you actually take the time to look at it. And in addition to all of the creepy and weird and dark Pokedex entries, there are actually several mentions of secret Pokemon within the Pokedex that we have never seen before to this point. I've covered some of these Pokemon in various videos over the years, and today I thought it just made sense to kind of lump them all together into one big compilation-esque video, so even if you are a regular viewer of the channel, maybe you didn't see every single one of these videos and you can learn something new today. Or if you're a new viewer of the channel, maybe a lot of these will be new to you as well. Speaking of new people, be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos just like this. It is super appreciated. And with all of that said, let's go ahead and check it out. So we've got a total of 13 Pokemon that we're going to be highlighting in this video, starting first with Magikarp. Now, Magikarp is obviously known for being exceptionally weak, and as the Pokedex likes to say, pathetic, which is a bit harsh if I'm being honest. However, also according to the Pokedex, there was once a stronger version of Magikarp that existed at one point. According to various Pokedex entries, including the one in red and blue, in the distant past it was somewhat stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. This implies that a different form of Magikarp once existed at some point in the Pokemon world's history. And with so many Pokemon recently getting new forms similar to this Magikarp form that is described here, it would be interesting to see this particular Magikarp form revealed to us officially in some type of future Pokemon game. Who knows if that will ever actually happen, but with how iconic Magikarp is, it would certainly be pretty cool. The next Pokemon we have to highlight here also comes from the distant past, and that would be the original forms of the Dreepy family. According to Dreepy's Pokedex entry in Pokemon Sword, after being reborn as a ghost Pokemon, Dreepy wanders the areas it used to inhabit back when it was alive in prehistoric seas. So basically, Dreepy is similar to a fossil Pokemon in that it basically went extinct, except instead of it actually being a fossil Pokemon in the traditional sense, it just ended up as a ghost type instead, which is really cool because once again, it implies a different form of this Pokemon that once existed in the distant past. And according to this Pokedex entry, Dreepy, and presumably its evolutions, lived in prehistoric seas, which means that we can reasonably assume that these Pokemon were once Water Dragon type instead of Ghost Dragon. This could have also changed their appearance in a number of different ways, and while it's not likely to be seen for real anytime soon, most likely, it certainly would be amazing to get a glimpse at what this original form of Dreepy, Dracloak, and Dragapult actually looked like. Now, this next one is interesting because it seems a little bit atypical and almost like it's a typo or something, but nevertheless, it concerns an evolution for Magnezone. As you may know, Magnezone is a third stage Pokemon, which means that it can't evolve any further, at least according to the current rules and confines of the Pokemon world. However, according to several of Magnezone's Pokedex entries, a hypothetical Magnezone evolution is specifically mentioned. In Magnezone's black and white dex entry, for instance, it states, a group tried to use scientific means to make Magnezone evolve, but their efforts ended in failure. The thing that's interesting here is that it doesn't seem to be referring to Magnezone as the evolution, because it states they wanted to make Magnezone evolve, not Magneton or Magnemite, for instance. So it seems like a group of scientists were trying to make the impossible happen with the help of science and technology, but ultimately were unsuccessful. This is another one that we are most likely never going to see or probably even hear about again, but the fact that it exists as a little bit of backstory is still really fascinating. Next up is a classic one that I have mentioned a number of times, and that is the original form of Corphish and Crawdon. 
Now, truth be told, Corphish and Crawdont might be the first Pokemon to ever actually have a regional variant because they did it well before those were even actually a thing. According to its dex entry in Pokemon Ruby, Corphish were originally foreign Pokemon that were imported as pets. They eventually turned up in the wild. This Pokemon is very hardy and has greatly increased its population. So basically, we know that these Pokemon aren't originally from the Hoenn region and instead are from some other region of the Pokemon world, and the fact that they are, in effect, regional variants themselves can be plainly seen in Crawdont's design, where it has clearly adapted to mimic the appearance of another Hoenn Pokemon, Sharpedo. With every new region we get, I always kinda hope in the back of my mind that we'll be able to see a Corphish and Crawdont variant that is the original form of the Pokemon. I think it would be a great way to bring this Pokemon full circle, so I really hope it happens at some point in the future. Just like with Dreepy, another interesting mystery Pokemon is also brought up in the Pokedex of Pokemon Sword and Shield. In Skaroopy's Sword Pokedex entry, it states, After burrowing into the sand, it waits patiently for prey to come near. This Pokemon and Sizzlipede share common descent. Essentially what this means is that Sizzlipede and Skaroopy have the same ancestor Pokemon, which confirms that such a Pokemon even exists at all. However, it of course does not go into any further detail, and this is definitely just a background, backstory type of element for these Pokemon, which is really cool, but not the kind of thing that is most likely intended to be fleshed out anytime soon. I attempted to create what I thought these Pokemon could be like as well, because just like all of the other entries on this list, it would be amazing to see this secret mystery ancestor Pokemon someday. Next on our list is a pretty infamous one, because it has to do with none other than Porygon 3. Now, Porygon 3 isn't explicitly mentioned in the Pokedex at all, but its intended existence is definitely implied in Porygon Z's Pokedex entries, where it states that additional software was installed to make it a better Pokemon. It began acting oddly, however. This basically tells us in a nutshell that the scientists of the Pokemon world were planning to upgrade Porygon 2 once again and make a Porygon 3, but their plans did not go as intended and they ended up with the glitchy Porygon Z instead. This is a classic case of what could have been, and while I really like the take that Porygon Z ultimately took, where it is a glitched out form of the Pokemon, I think it would be really cool to make Porygon 3 an actual thing at some point, and have it be the case that they finally did figure out how to upgrade Porygon 2 properly, ultimately giving this Pokemon a split evolution to where it can take either form depending on what Pokemon you prefer as a trainer. And speaking of Pokemon with forms, Arbok is a Pokemon that has a ton of forms, but none that are actually officially recognized by the games. It does have a couple of different variants that we see in the games, but none that are actually constituted as their own distinct individual forms. And on top of that, we don't even get to see all of these different patterns that are apparently out there. According to Arbok's Pokedex entry in Ultra Sun, the latest research has determined that there are over 20 possible arrangements of the patterns on its stomach. In the games, we have only seen a few of these patterns, meaning that most of them that apparently canonically exist, we don't know anything about. With that said though, there have been several other Arbok patterns that don't exist in the games that we have seen in other forms of media, such as in the anime and in the manga. Given that they stopped introducing new Arbok forms into the games around the Gen 4 to 5 era, it's unlikely that we'll never see this make a return, but it would be really cool if someday we got to see these anime and manga exclusive patterns be integrated into the games officially as some of these 20 plus arrangements. Now, another secret Pokemon from the Kanto region that might seem unbelievable at first is a pre-evolution to Nidoran male and female. 
Similar to Magnezone, since Nidoran are both a part of a three-stage family, it seems pretty much impossible that they could ever have a pre-evolution, especially because both Nidoran male and female are already so small themselves. But, according to an official Pokedex book that was published by Creatures Inc. back in 1996, and was recently translated by Pokemon historian Dr. Lava, there are baby forms of Nidoran that canonically exist at least within the backstory of these Pokemon. The book talks about how these Pokemon mate and produce babies, and it specifically refers to Nidoran male and female and not any of their evolved forms, and even shows an illustration of what these Pokemon look like. Once again, this is another backstory type of entry, but given Nidoran male and female's uniqueness with having separate genders in Gen 1, it could have been possible that they were considering something like this for these Pokemon in the game at some point, that ultimately just never made it through to the final product. Yet another Kanto Pokemon with a form we don't get to see in the games is Vulpix, specifically a version of Vulpix with just one tail. According to the Pokedex, at the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. So, similar to the Nidoran babies, this is a situation of a baby Vulpix, and interestingly enough, Vulpix did originally at one point have a pre-evolution before that pre-evolution was cut. However, it did not have just one tail like baby Vulpix is described to have here. This one doesn't need to be a complete mystery, however, because we actually have gotten to see what a one-tailed Vulpix looks like in the manga, which is really cool even if it is probably the closest we are ever going to get to this form of Vulpix being official. Stepping away from Kanto for a sec, this next one is one of the most well-known secret Pokedex Pokemon, and that would be none other than the original form of Genesect. You guys probably all know the story by now, but in Genesect's Pokedex entries, it states that this Pokemon existed 300 million years ago. Team Plasma altered it and attached a cannon to its back. This confirms that Genesect did not always look like this, and at some point it had an original form that existed prior to Team Plasma altering it. There have been many theories that have tried to explain what this original Genesect could have been, even claiming that the original Genesect was a whole other Pokemon entirely, like Kabutops. I don't think I can say I subscribe to that theory though, because I think it would be much more interesting for this to be a whole other brand new unique Pokemon that we just haven't seen to this point, and hopefully someday, maybe in the black and white remakes or something like that, we could see what this original form actually looks like. Moving along, here's another one that basically has hypothetically existed since this Pokemon was introduced, but recently got some specific mention of it in the Pokedex in a recent game, and that Pokemon would be none other than Paris and its evolution Parasect. We all know with Parasect in particular that it's the mushroom on its back that has essentially taken over the Pokemon. However, it confirms in Parasect's Legends Arceus Dex entry that there are apparently versions of Parasect that exist without the mushroom on their back. As it states, mushroom lacking specimens of this Pokemon lie unmoving in the forest, lending credence to the hypothesis that the large mushroom is in control of Parasect's actions. It also states in Paris's Legends Arceus Dex entry that the mushrooms are not present on infant versions of Paris and instead emerge as Paris grows. So it seems like there might be very, very rare instances where a Paris can be born and simply grow up without the mushrooms growing on its back and subsequently taking over its whole body, and therefore is able to evolve into Parasect without a mushroom on its back either. Paris is another Pokemon that originally was going to have a pre-evolution during the days of Gen 2 
Ultimately, however, this pre-evolution was cut, and it does not follow the mushroomless theme that is described here. So it's anyone's guess as to whether we'll actually ever get to see a Paris and or Parasect without a mushroom on their back for ourselves, but as fascinating as it is, it's unfortunately probably not very likely. One of the coolest entries on this list is this next one, because it has to do with Poipol and the other members of its starter Pokemon family. Unlike a lot of other entries on this list, this one does not have to do with a form of Poipol, but rather completely other separate Pokemon that are related to Poipol in the form of being its counterpart starter Pokemon in the world where it is from. Its Ultra Sun Dex entry states that this Ultra Beast is well enough liked to be chosen as a first partner in its own world. In short, this is basically saying that Poipol is a starter Pokemon in the world where it is from, and if it is a starter Pokemon, that likely means that there are probably a couple other starter Pokemon that can be chosen alongside it. The concept of Ultra Beast Starter Pokemon is an insanely fascinating one that would be absolutely amazing to see explored further, especially because in Poipol's case, it has to do with some secret starter Pokemon that we have never seen before, and that just sounds like an incredible thing to pull the curtain away from and officially explore. And finally, the last secret Pokemon mentioned in the Pokedex that I'm going to be covering in this video is also one that I have recently covered in another video, and that would be none other than Gastrodon. It is mentioned in several of Gastrodon's Pokedex entries that it apparently had a huge shell for protection in ancient times. So this is yet another instance of an ancient form Pokemon that we have never seen before. It almost seems like they should make ancient form Pokemon an official type of Pokemon and explore this concept in more detail. Hopefully Scarlet and Violet do this like it seems they could potentially be doing. This video is going to be uploaded just before those games come out, so I don't quite know if that's a thing or not yet, but it definitely should be regardless because we've obviously got a lot of cool material to work with and it's just a cool concept in general. So hopefully someday we'll get to see this shelled form of Gastrodon in a future title. And there you have it. Those were a handful of secret Pokemon mentioned in the Pokedex that we haven't actually got to see officially to this point. Now, did you already know about all these from my other videos, or did you learn a bunch of new cool stuff today? Be sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new for more. With that said, I'll be back with another new video very soon. Until the next one, as always, thank you guys so much for watching this one. I really, really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.